Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports Channel. Thanks for being here. Um, the game is finished, guys. The game is finished. The reggae boys have squeezed out. Have squeezed out, literally squeezed out. It was what an 88 minute winner from Junior Flemings. Literally squeezed out a 2-1 victory over Guadeloupe. Um you know, my immediate reactions post-match. Still not convinced about our title credentials. But to be honest with you, I'm not going to really bash the boys. You know, the midfield was thin coming into the tournament, and especially with Bobby and Ravel not being available. It made it even worse. Um, Here's the layout on the screen. You know, it was a 4-2-3-1 initially when most people saw the, 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 the team sheet, you know, with the personnel on the pitch, you thought it was going to be a 4-4-2. But to our surprise, Nicholson played in the hole as a number 10, right? And, you know, you, it wasn't even a 4-4-2. It, it was definitely a 4-2-3-1. Yes, Nicholson was definitely playing as a number 10 in this game, right? I, I, does this say that Coach Tapa Whitmore doesn't really have much trust and faith in Tyreek McGee? I don't know. We never saw Tyreek McGee any at all in this one. But guys, it wasn't a bad game. Truth be told, it wasn't a good game either. Um, You know, it could have been better. To be honest with you, it could, it could have been better. Right, it could have been a, a, a better game, but I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it was a bad game. Right, we did create a number of chances in the game. Shamar Nicholson, for the most part, I didn't play. I didn't think played poorly in terms of his his work as a number ten. He was constantly finding space, you know, little pockets of space, receiving the ball and so forth and so forth. But my God Almighty, his finishing was poor. He wasted a number of good chances for us in this football game. A number of good chances in this football game. Right? For the most part, I think we, 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 we were the better team. Right? Unfortunately, we conceded a goal very early on. You know, um, it was a poor set piece, a poor corner. You know, and a ball over the top from Guadeloupe got them going in transition. Right? And, you know... More and low was, was out of space, was out of position rather. Sorry, not out of space, out of position. You know, low and more was out of position. And, you know, it was just, it was just Bell and Alvas that were back. Unfortunately, the, you know, the ball went out wide to the Guadeloupe player. He tried to get across into the box and, you know, a ball over the top, it went out wide to the, the, the Guadeloupe player making the forward run. Right, um, he tried to get across into the box and it hit off of Bell and hit off the post and found its way into the back of the net. We went down early in the game, but you know, the, the, the boys, the boys, you know, tried to, to respond, you know, and we responded shortly after. Individual brilliance again is what got us through this game. Keep on talking about it. It was a very good goal from Corey Burke. Right, a very good goal from Corey Burke. Right, um, it was Turgot who won the ball on the press. Blair Turgot won the ball on the press. Right, in the initial stages of the game, we were losing out a lot on the second balls. We were winning the first balls, especially after the goalkeeper kickouts. We were losing a lot out on the first balls, but we were, we were rather winning the first balls, but losing out on the second ball. Right, if if I'm not mistaken, we lost out on the second ball on that particular play. But Tur got pressed, he received the ball, he, he, he made a run down the, the left flank. Right. Um two two Guadeloupe players tried to close him down, but he just he just nicked it through the gap for Corey Burke, who was in a more central position right outside the, the box, and he one timed it, released a shot that found the the, the far um right on the far right hand corner of the net right so you know we went we, we equalized at that particular point in time and it became one all right and then you know for a long time we pressed and tried to find 
for a long time we tried to press and find that second goal right it came very late but it did eventually come it didn't look like it was gonna come it didn't look like it was gonna come but it, it eventually did the only i mean guadeloupe had little moments but they never really bothered us per se there was one particular time when alvas Poyle was beaten right by phaeton who was playing more wide well he wasn't playing more wide he was playing on the left wing right he got past alvas Poyle and you know, played it back, right? So that was, well, that came in the second half. But before we even get to that, there was a big chance as well to, let's talk about that save from Andre Blake. I didn't even remember that. How could I forget about that? Right? It was a big, 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 big save from Andre Blake. What had happened was the player had tried to, to isolate. I think it was Phaeton again, who had tried to isolate um Alva Spoil 1v1, right? He, he, he didn't beat him, but what happened? The, the ball hit off of Alvas Powell's foot and fell kindly for fate. And so he received or retrieved possession of the ball and then played it back to a player on the edge of the box. Right. This was late in the first half, at the end of the first half. Right. And then um the player, right, took a first touch, set, steadied himself, and then released a shot. Right. Released a shot. And Andre Blake would have spent spectacular save that looked like he was going to hit off of the underside of the bar. Blake's spectacular save kept it out. Looked like he even hurt himself in the process. Um we did we did go we did get a goal from Bailey to you know in the in the first half and unfortunately it was ruled offside. It it took me told it it was looking like it was it was looking like it was offside. Right. So you know the the Guadalupe defense was sleeping right and a ball over the top and you know, Bailey was in on goal. Initially, the first attempted chip from Bailey was saved from the keeper. And then, you know, um, a second chance again on Bailey. He um, chipped it over his head again and hit the back of the net. But unfortunately, it was ruled offside. Right. Apart from those two chances, one and two other moments in the game, Guadeloupe had some decent moments. But for the most part, for the most part, I didn't really think they really tested us. They had a period of dominance in about the first probably 10, 15 minutes of the, 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 the second half, right? But for most of this game, I thought we were the better team. We created a lot more chances than them, obviously. A lot more clear-cut goal-scoring chances. Most of them, unfortunately, fell to Jamar Nicholson in this game. Boy, oh boy. I mean, you know, when the, when the, 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 when, um, the British say you can't even hit a barn door, Shamar Nicholson was not very good in this game at all. I don't think he played badly. To be honest with you, some people would, 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 would disagree, right? I'm not saying he was excellent as a number 10, and obviously against better opposition, I wouldn't want him playing as a number 10 going forward in the tournament, right? I am wondering if Tapa does not have trust and faith in Tyree McGee. We didn't see many at all in this game. The man prefer to start Boaz as the number 10 over Tyree McGee. Right, midfield problems again, right? But, um, you know, I don't think his overall play in this game was bad to be honest with you, um, Shamar Nicholson. But I think what really, what really, you know, would have upset a lot of people was the amount of chances he was getting in this game, and he missed about four, if I'm not mistaken, probably even more clear cut goal scoring chances. Right, I thought Bo, I thought Cor Burke did well up front for us as well. Right, Cor Burke did very well for us as well. Another thing I noticed in this football game, a number of a lot of the play was coming down the left wing. A lot of the play, especially in the first half, right? Especially, I mean, throughout the entire game, really, throughout the entire game, the, the play was a lopsided coming down the left. A lot, most of our attacks came down the left. That I don't understand, right? Bailey had one and two, one and two bright moments, but for the most part, again, was forcing it. And truth be told, I guess he was, he was, you know, he wasn't really getting a lot of service down the right. Most of it was, most of the our, our attacks was going through Turgot, right? Most of our attacks was going down the, the, the left through Blair Turgot, right? So, you know, that was another observation as well. You know, but um, again, individual brilliance won us this football game, man. 
again individual brilliance won us this football game that shot from just outside the box on burke very good one time bang hit the the the, the, the bottom right hand corner of the net and you know obviously let's talk about that goal from junior fleming's man to be fair bailey got the assist you know bailey with a with a with a with a ball inside right it, it, it wasn't a cross per se right but you know it was a, a a ball he was on the he was playing on the left right passed it inside to junior flemings who was playing you know more more centrally on that particular play more as an inverted winger so to speak on that particular play and then you know he he initially was gonna hit it for um hit it he, he took a touch he initially was gonna release a shot chose not to you know um beat what i think it was three players he beat three players he beat did did some did some cutting you know did some chopping and then eventually got past three players and you know space opened up for him and he got past the third player space opened up for the boss man and he released a left-footed strike man that went through the legs of the goalkeeper hit the back of the net you know thank god almighty he was looking like the game was destined for a draw but junior flemings got a brilliant winner win winner rather also andre gray as well came on right he came on as well and had a very bright moment right um a very good ball from flemings again very um to you know find andre gray right making the run very good run from andre gray right he dismissed the player brilliantly not make them and cut inside <coughs> Sorry, guys, cut inside, right, and and found himself in acres of space, ran down on the goal. You know, it was just him and the keeper, you know, him alone against the keeper, man, and, you know, the finish wasn't the best. Finish wasn't the best. Gray did well to create this, the, the opportunity for himself, but the finish wasn't the best, right? Um, The substitutions, many people would say that Tapa took too long to, Take off Shamar Nicholson. I, I agree. I agree. Tapa took too long to take off Shamar Nicholson. Right. Um, he finally came off. Um, I think, I think we, we, we needed to, after after about the first 10, 15 minutes, we needed to take control or retake rather control of the, the, the game. And you know, Speedy and um Junior Flemings came on and helped up, helped us do just that. We retook control of the football game, right? Because we were under a bit of period of, of some sustained amount of pressure from Guadeloupe. We retook control of the game, retook control of the middle of the park, right? And, you know, it was as you were for most of the, the first half from there on out, right? Um, I don't think the, the, the only substitution I probably think Tapa took a little bit too long to make was taking off Shamar Nicholson right that's the only um substitution i think it took too long to to make some would disagree but hey that's that's that you know we all have our different interpretations of the football game and how we see it. so guys we are now at top of the of our group right we are at top of it temporarily we don't know what will happen in that big upcoming game with suriname and Costa Rica. So we're gonna we're gonna tune into that one. But right now we're at top the group. Six points from a possible six. So that's good. That's good. Could the performances improve? Absolutely. Does the midfield look like a championship winning midfield? Absolutely not. Right? Absolutely not. Right? I didn't think we I mean, yes, we created a a, a good amount of chances in the game. I think we could have. I mean, the intensity was much better than the first game, to be fair. But I still think we have some ways to go where that is concerned. Also, you know, our movement of the football as well, in terms of moving it, you know, up the up the park into the final third. And against a Guadeloupe team, and ad admittedly, I think we should have done better, right? I'm not going to knock them really and truly because, you know, we should have won this game by about, it was an unfortunate goal we conceded, and we could have won the game by four five nil or four five one because you know we did concede the goal. Unfortunate goalie, though it may be. But I'm not gonna knock them. 
yes, there's improvement to be made. Yes, there's improvement to be made, especially in the middle of the park. I am concerned about that the midfield not looking like a championship winning midfield, but I'm not going to knock them per se for this performance. They grinded out a victory. Individual brilliance got them over the line, and it was a hard-fought victory. Guadeloupe, you know, for, for large portions of the game, sat back in a mid to low block, and, you know, They, 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 they pressed hard, you know, they, they, they made it, they made it, they didn't make it easy for us, they didn't walk, they didn't allow us to walk over them, right, but I'm not, I'm really and truly not going to go in on the boys, yes, the performance could improve, it could be better, but we got the three points and that's the most important thing, so guys, that's my two cents, reggae boys, 2-1 victory, we won the game and that's good, so stay safe, guys, take care, and until next time.